What is this review about? Is it about Thomas, Pokemon, Digimon? Well, since you guys saw the thumbnail, you can already know that I'm gonna be talking about My Little Pony. My Little Pony, My Little Pony, Not the MLP I'm going to be talking about today. Uh, probably some of the old ones. Okay, maybe not that old. Okay, not that one either. Skip to the next one. Alright, we're getting close. Let's skip to the next one. Yeah, I already know I'm gonna be humiliated for this. But it's still worth it. So before I start this review, I want to answer some questions, such as, Team Sims, why are you doing this right now? Well, I've been planning this review since May, and I've forgotten about it for the past three months. Another question is, but Team Sims, since you're not reviewing any Thomas content, why are you using Oliver from Thomas and Friends? Well. Oliver's cool. I simp for him. He pulled a truck apart. Do not hate on him. He is cool. He is best boy. Alright, alright. I get it. You guys are here for a review about a talking pony movie, not about my addiction to a green train. Okay, so before I actually start the review, I want to go over a little recap of how I discovered MLPG 3.5. Okay, so let's move back to like... I forgot what year it was. So, this all happened back at Walmart. So, my mom probably went grocery shopping or something, and she went to the DVD aisle or something. I got a Care Bears DVD, and my sister got this My Little Pony DVD titled My Little Pony Twinkle Wish Adventure. So, we went back home, I just watched my Care Bear DVD and all that stuff. Then I peeked into my sister's room, then I came in my sister's room and... That's when the entire thing, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and then I grew somewhat in, how do I put this? I somewhat grew to like it. Yeah. And so now, a few years later, right now, I still have the DVD with me. Hey, <laughs> I'm not letting it go. And so that's how I became so attached to MLPG 3.5 that it inspired me to sit for my favorite character from Thomas and Friends. All right, all right, I'll get started with the review. It's the year of the Winter Wishes Festival, and all of Ponyville is decorating for this year. I sure wish it would snow. I wish it would too. I'm a great western engine. I shouldn't have to shiver. Begging your pardon, Mr. Oliver, but I think snow is splendid. <sighs> There's this star that they always put on a tree called Twinkle Wish. 
Oh! No. Well, you were pretty little then. Yeah, but I'm not little no more. Girl, is you trying to be a gangster? But in order to get Twinkle Wish on the star, there has to be a pony with the best decorated ornament. Hey, I just had an idea for my ornament. Oh, <laughs> hold it. I only had half an idea. Well, Tularula, I've got way too many ideas. Maybe if we work together, we can turn your half an idea and my too many ideas into one really great idea. Sounds good to me. I'd love to work with you, Pinkie Pie. I love that idea. We can all pair up and work together. Yeah. What do you say, Star Song? Want to work with me on an ornament? <laughs> sure thing, Rainbow Dash. Hey, Sweetie Belle, let's make the winningest ornament together. <gasps> Okie dokie. Let's get busy and make some ornaments. So in the process of teaming up together to make an ornament for the festival, they somewhat forget about their friend Chira Lee, who has to do her ornament by herself. And this is what somewhat irritates me. Don't get why she has to be all depressed about working on the project by herself. I've done many projects by myself, and I was never sad about it, so, uh, how come she has to? And so, the other six are making their ornaments with Sweetie Belle, giving them some of her weird accessory stuff. Oh yeah, by the way, let's watch my favorite part of this scene. Ooh, can I use this pink pipe cleaner? Uh, we're gonna use it. But you can use this rock, Pinkie Pie. Thanks. Come on, I can't be the only one who cracks up at this scene. Am I? I suddenly have the strangest feeling, like we're forgetting something. You legit just forgot one of your friends. How can you be that dumb? Meanwhile, Cheerilee is still doing her ornament, and it's not really coming out good. And then finally, after a few minutes, they realized they forgot Chira Lee. I knew we were forgetting something! <gasps> we forgot my sister! Hey yo, they finally realized they were forgetting someone! They finally forgot they forgot someone after three minutes! Hey, bravo! Bravo! Well done! Congratulations! You actually found out! Well done! So then they bust down the door and they come raiding her house to see what she's up to. So then all the ponies, except Scootaloo, give her something off their ornaments. And when Scootaloo does let her take something off her ornament, Charlie takes the button! Our lucky butt! Thanks everyone! I love it! So by then, Charlie's ornament is put on the tree with the other ponies' ornaments. But the main ponies hope Charlie's ornament will be the best, but Scootaloo hopes Sweetie Bells and hers would be come the winner because, you know, Scootaloo's that type of pony. And guess who won the ornament making contest? Plot convenience at its finest. And then after the ornament making contest or whatever it's called, Mayor, I'm not gonna say her name because it's full on cringe, gives them the box. May I see? No. This box absolutely must not be opened until tomorrow at sunset, when the Winter Wishes Festival begins. The ponies talk about Twinkle Wish and stuff. Scootaloo and Squeedy Bell jump on a trampoline, and then Scootaloo steals the box, and then this happens. Yeah, it's a neat box, but I want to see what Twinkle Wish looks like. What? He can't hurt. <laughs> and then she and Charlie fight over the box.
thanks to Scootaloo's stupidness, Twinkle Wish is now awake. And then a dragon kidnaps her. <laughs> Who wished for a dragon? Your mom? Scootaloo, this is all your fault! Well, I just wanted to see the box. Everyone else got a close look at it. It opened on accident! You were an accident. Come on, don't fight! 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 And then Pinkie Pie tells Star Song to fly to see where that dragon is going. So the dragon is flying towards this mountain called Willy Nilly Mountain. What is Willy Nilly Mountain? Uh, it sits at the edge of the valley, although it's a familiar sight. Not much is known about it, because no one has actually ever been there. The mountain is known for its strange behavior of the weather. It suddenly and drastically changes for no apparent reason. How do you know all that? I stole Cheerilee's dialogue. And then the mayor comes and she's like, Hey, yo, y'all taking good care of that star? And they're like, Yeah, it's totally not like we let a dragon take her up to some mountain. And then she's like, Okay, bye. And she goes away. And truth is, they actually lied about it. We lied. I know. Oh, no. Anyway, last week... And then Piggy's all like, Hey, we're not gonna let that dragon keep Twinkle Wish. We're going to save her. But what? We're gonna find that dragon and get Twinkle Wish back! Yeah! We can do it! We must do it! We will do it! And then they all agree to take Pinkie Pie's balloon to the mountain. Okay, but big problem with the balloon is that it can only hold four ponies, not six. And no, I'm not counting Star Song because she can fly. That's not fair! You did this on purpose because you're mad at me! No, I didn't. But even if I did, who could blame me? Yo, mama bi- Okay, I am so sorry I did that. That was really unnecessary of me. I'm gonna do that over again. That's not fair. You did this on purpose because you're mad at me. No, I didn't. But even if I did, who could blame me? I could. Yeah, I would too. I'm sure nobody did anything on purpose to get anyone mad, right? Right. But on the bright side, there is a reason why it's gonna lose Sweetie Belle should stay home, as they have to make sure the mayor does not know that Twinkle Wish is kidnapped by a dragon. But, uh... I'm scared right now. And so, the pony's journey to get back Twinkle Wish begins. Back with Scootaloo and Sweetie Belle, they're still looking after Twinkle Wish's box. Scootaloo wishes that Cheerilee still wouldn't be mad at her. I just wish Cheerilee wouldn't be mad at me anymore. I know. <sighs> what a cookie! I made them myself! They're yummy oatmeal raisin apple care walnut upside down surprises! Oh, uh, no thanks, Sweetie Belle. Okay. Can I have a cookie? I mean, you made them, so I don't see why not. And then the mayor comes and she's like, where's Cheryl And they're like, she went to get balloons. And she's like, okay. We didn't open it and let a crazy old dragon steal the wishing star or anything. Want a cookie? Oh no, thank you. I'm watching my figure. Watching it do what? Hm. Hm, that went well. Meanwhile, the other ponies are still flying towards Willy Mountain or whatever it's called. Then, a storm happens, and then the balloon goes out of control. You need to land this balloon! Hold on, everyone! This is gonna be a bumpy ride! And guess what saves the day? A freaking hair ribbon. Everyone okay? I'm okay. Oh, me too. Oh, me three. Soon, it's getting kinda late. 
The ponies agreed to camp out tonight. Shirley objects this as the festival is tomorrow. Pinkie Pie explains that it's going to be dark soon, which makes Tularula really, really nervous. And this is something I can really relate to. Um, there's something I don't think I've ever told you. Huh. Well, what is it? You can tell us. We're your friends. I'm afraid of the dark. Oh, that's okay. Scootaloo is too, sometimes. What does she do at night? She uses a nightlight. Me too. I can't sleep without one. Oh, I wish I had a nightlight. Ah. I can't go five seconds in the dark without turning on my lamp. Pinkie Pie speaks ASMR to pink fireflies, and they're now being used as the nightlight. And you want to know how she did it? I speak pink. That's not an actual language. Charlie starts thinking about Scootaloo and blah blah blah. Then she has to sleep. Next morning... It's the day that Shirley has to take Twinkle Witch to the festival and tell the ponies head off to the mountain to get Twinkle Witch from the dragon. Come on, let's go! Soon they are climbing the mountain. Then it starts to rain. And then it stops raining. Weird. The rain stopped almost as soon as it began. That's why this is called Willy Nilly Mountain, remember? Because the weather changes, Willy Nilly. Why are y'all ahead so big? You're terrifying me. And then they find a cave, which looks like something out of Minecraft. Do you think the dragon is in this cave? <laughs> yep, I kind of think so. with Scootaloo and Sweetie Belle, Scootaloo is panicking because the festival is tomorrow in the afternoon, and Twinkle Witch still isn't back. Could things get any worse? Hello? And then the mayor comes once again to see how Charlie's doing with the star, and Scootaloo and Sweetie Belle try to stall her by, uh... Hey. Hello? Hello, Mayor Flitter Flutter. I'm here. I'm just... Uh, doing a beauty treatment to be extra pretty for the ceremony. But I'm here to take you there. You're not ready, all set, or rare to go. Actually, um, I'll meet you there. I have my own, uh, super duper plan for my entrance at the festival. It'll be like nothing you've ever seen before. Bye! Something very funny, odd, and goofy is going on here. I just wish I knew what it was. Back with the main five, they've soon arrived at the dragon's cave, and the dragon somewhat lets them in. The star? Why didn't you say so? Come in, come in! What is this? How'd they get my room in this movie? So the dragon has locked up Twinkle Wish up in a cage, and the reason why is because she wanted her to look at these outfits. Not until you tell me what you think of this! Love it, hate it, hold nothing back! <laughs> Jesus Christ, can you let her sleep already? Uh, hello? Hello, come in! Did I scare you with my who goes there routine? No, I did a little edit on it. Who are you? I'm Thomas. I run this branch line. Plot twist. The dragon isn't really evil. She needed friends. So basically, this movie is telling us she's the only dragon in existence. What the fu- Are you comfortable? A are you warm enough? <gasps> uh, too warm? <gasps> How dare you freeze best girl like that? Oh, wow! You're the reason the weather changes willy-nilly! 
Well, it isn't the weatherman. So the reason why Whimsy is lonely is because she has no friends, like I just said a few minutes ago. And so she thinks it's because she doesn't have any toys. Which is why she decided to go and kidnap Twinkle Wish. I think it needs batteries. And then they sing a song about making friends. And I'd rather sing in the bathtub. But there's one thing that friends never, ever do, and that's sing on stage in a bathtub. No. Friends never take each other's stuff. I'm responsible for that star, and I need to take it back to Ponyville with me. A friend would give it back. To but I like the star. <laughs> But Whimsy already knows that they trying to get the star. <laughs> oh, I wasn't born yesterday, you know. I can smell a trick when I sniff one. You're trying to trick me into giving you that star. Well, forget it, all right? If you won't be my friends unless I give the star back, then I'll wait for someone else to come see the star. There are other ponies in Ponyville, you know. Whimsy... Get the fuck out! And so the ponies do as she says, and they get out. Ponies are upset by this, and they have no choice but to tell the truth. What are we going to do now? What I should have done in the first place. Tell the truth. Back in Ponyville, all of the ponies are around the tree. They are all looking forward to seeing the star. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I'm sure Charlie will be here momentarily. Presently, and uh, uh, very soon. I'm here! The main five come down from the balloon and tell Mayor I'm not gonna say her name, the truth. But I'm afraid I don't have the wishing star. <gasps> First of all, I want to apologize to you. I lied. I'm sorry. We're yeah, all, we're all sorry. Too. Charlie explains that she couldn't watch over one single box. The star came out and a dragon kidnapped it. Even though she's not the one at fault. And after the mayor does some weird cringy trying to fade thing, Scootaloo finally owns up and admits she is the one that caused the entire plot to become more interesting. I'm sorry, Charlie. I don't blame you, Scootaloo. I know it was an accident. I should have watched the box more carefully. You're not mad at me anymore? No, not at all. Good. I don't like being mad at. And the mayor finally grows a pear and is upset that there is no star for the wishing festival. And then Whimsy comes down from the sky with Twinkle Wish still inside that cage. She belongs to you and all of Ponyville. Oh my, Twinkle Wish looks awfully sleepy. Has she been awake this whole time? Unfortunately, no. This little cutie keeps falling asleep. Hmm, I wonder why. Cheerilee then lets her little sister Scootaloo put the star on top of the tree. Cool beans! So Whimsy flies Scootaloo up to the top of the tree, where Scootaloo puts Twinkle Wish on the tree. Okay, but how are you supposed to put a star on the tree without a ladder? I swear this movie has some questionable things. So everybody in Ponyville has to make their wish before Twinkle Wish falls asleep again. But guess what? They don't really need Twinkle Wish because their wishes already come true. You wish Cheerilee would win the contest, right? And she did. And I wish Cheerilee wouldn't be mad at me anymore. And I'm not. And I wished I knew what was going on with Cheerilee. And <laughs> now I do. And I wished I had something to tie the balloon down with. And I did! And I wished for a nightlight, and I found the fireflies! I wished I could find the cave, and I did! And I wished the star would get to the festival on time! And it did! How about you, citizens of Ponyville? What did you wish for? Snow! It's fall, idiots! Uh-oh. Wiggle wish you sleep. But then Whimsy Wettersby, or whatever the crap her name is, saves the day by making snow. And now it is snowing. And the background somehow turned dark. Everyone's happy except Sweetie Belle, who did not get her wish. What's the matter, Sweetie Belle? 
Didn't you get your wish? Not exactly. No. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Oh, boo-hoo. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. That's a bit too far, don't you think? Sweetie Belle actually wanted it to snow pink. Isn't that something that Pinkie Pie would want? Did somebody wish for pink snow? I did! Oh, now you're awake! In the end, Twinkle Wish grants Sweetie Belle's wish, and the snow turns pink. Everyone rejoiced, because despite everything, this had turned out to be the most wonderful Winter Wishes Festival ever. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Oh yeah, that's right, it's fall. So, what are my thoughts on the songs? Well, they're kind of cheesy here and there, but they're actually kind of decent for a kid's show. You gotta expect this stuff in MLP, you know, cause... They always have musical numbers. Somewhere Super New is a pretty decent song. It's cute, it's catchy, it's fun, the singers are pretty good, the music has upbeat, and everything in it is just well -y fully well done. I don't really mind the fact that they didn't have Pinkie Pie's voice actor sing this because, uh... I'm not sure, she'd be kind of great singing this, but it seems like they got a different voice actor to do it. I mean, they actually did. Not sure about the weird... packing stuff in that one scene, because they're just going on a trip to save a star from a dragon. But anyways, let's move on to the next song. That's What Makes a Friend is another decent song. Although it's your generic friendship and... I got friends and whatever. There, it's not really that type of somewhere super new is. You have lots of song that, songs that talk about friendship and differences between each other. Like, uh, I don't really know. But hey, those guitar riffs are pretty dang lit, not gonna lie. Dreams Do Come True is another catchy song in this movie. I guess the message is that your dreams can come true if you, uh, make them come true. I don't really know. Although, it does show all four seasons in this movie, which really does confuse me, but, you know, that's just my opinion. Another catchy song. Alright. I'm done. So, in conclusion... My Little Pony, Twinkle Wish Adventure gets a 7 out of 10. It's a pretty decent movie, the art style is cute, the colors are pretty nice, and the characters aren't that annoying. It's a movie from 2009, what do you expect? But you know something everyone? I think we all rather have this type of MLB than all engines go. Am I right or am I wrong? Well guys, Thanks for watching another video of Team Simmons Reviews. Next, I'll be ranting on why All Inches Go is a huge dumpster fire. See you later.